So BRICS 2.0 release candidate has been released today. Now, before we go any further and take a look at the new options, this is not ready for production yet. You can test it. It's in your account if you want to download it, install it and test it. But please do not do that on a live production site. You're only asking for trouble. That out of the way, let's take a look at these key new features. So the first one is the new command palette. Now the command palette allows you to quickly access various different parts of your site, bricks and those kinds of things. It's very easy to use. You use control or command and K and it opens it up inside Bricks itself. And inside you, you've got your builder and you've got your post types, and you can easily move around to get access to these. There's various different keyboard shortcuts, which I would recommend you take a look at the changelog to see how they work. But let's just say, for example, you want a post type, we'll do the forward slash. We now have our post types and you'll see we can easily go through these or we can use the shortcuts for all templates for Bricks, posts, pages, and so on. Then inside any of these, we have a couple of options. You can duplicate this particular post, page, template, whatever it is. You can edit it with WordPress or you can view it on the front end. So for example, if we say edit with WordPress, that will open up a new tab, take us straight into whatever we selected. We can now edit this with bricks and we go in and we start working. So we'll just do Command K one more time. So you can see this is the builder, so we can jump into various different parts of the builder itself. So like a quick access to your variables, your CSS variables, your templates and so on. So for example, come to variables, hit the enter or return, it opens up that particular panel and we now have immediate access to it. Escape to get rid of it, command K to access it again, come down to your icons for example, and there's your icons. So it once you get used to this process, and I've been using it for probably about like three minutes, it really is quite a quick and easy way of being able to navigate around to the various different parts without even needing to use your mouse or your tablet, whatever. Let me know your thoughts on this. Is this something you would adopt into your workflow or something you think, eh, it's cool, I'll never use it? Let me know down below in the comment section. The next new feature you wanna look at is the quick access bar. And if you're an advanced theme user, this is gonna be very, very familiar to you. Once you select any kind of element inside your design, you'll see we get these quick actions down the left-hand side that are easily accessible. That'll take you into that particular panel with that panel open. So for example, you wanna come into your shape dividers, click, it'll take you straight into that and expand it. Wanna come into your layout, click, you're straight into your layout. Come into your content, you're straight into your content. You get the idea. Like I say, if you are an advanced theme user, this is going to be very, very familiar to you. The key difference is on the left hand side, you're by default it's on the right hand side in advanced theme. We also have keyboard shortcuts to access this as well. So we can use command, option, and a number. So you can see once we hold that command and option down, we now get the numbers next to each of those different elements, and we can then just press what we want. So for example, hit three, we now jump straight into the background options. So again, if you're a keyboard warrior and you like to be able to sort of move around quickly by the keyboard, the command palette and using these options now for the quick access with keyboard shortcuts, maybe something that'll save you a bunch of time. Like I say, let me know your feedback in the comment section because I'd love to know. Next thing I wanna talk about is the new theme styles loading method. I'm in the change log here so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. But fundamentally what this allows you to do is split out your CSS into different style sheets or different theme styles. So you may have one you wanna control all of your typography in, another one that controls your layouts. You may have different parts of your website. For example, the front end of your website may be styled differently and you wanna separate that out to a custom dashboard you create for your users that they access and you style it and lay it out differently. This will allow you to do that. So let's come in onto our settings and into our theme styles, and you see we have our default style. We can set conditions up for where this is going to be used. Generally, you would probably come into your add a condition and say you want this for the entire website, and that's cool. Let's say you then wanted to add another condition and say you wanted to exclude the front page, for example. We'll exclude it. Cool, so now it's been used everywhere on our site except for the front page. But what's gonna be used on the front page? Well, let's come up here, change this over to other styles, come into our conditions, so you can see that I've set that to be used on the front page. So now the front page will use one theme style, whereas the rest of the site will use a different theme style. So you can control what theme styles are going to be used here. Another really useful feature is now how the global classes that we organize inside the Classes and Variables Manager will now automatically be organized in exactly the same way inside the editor. Let me show you. If we come into the Classes and Variables Manager, you can see we've got all uncategorized and core framework. And if we want to create our own, we absolutely can do. Let's just call one 
WP Tuts, for example, we'll save it and we'll just add in a couple of different classes. So now we've got three different categories. Let's close this down after saving it. And let's come over now to our classes. So if we click inside here, you now see we've got our element classes, our global classes, which is basically all of them, tells us how many we've got. And then we've got uncategorized and all the uncategorized ones inside there. Our core framework, and now our new WP Tuts one with all the relevant ones inside there. So it's a little change, but anything that helps us organize and keep more on top of finding exactly what we want. So you'll know if you're using something like Core Framework, you can have hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of classes being brought in and you create your own, like I do in a lot of use cases, but there's probably maybe, I don't know, 10, 20, 30 of those in a general simple site. Well, now I don't have to wade through everything to find the ones that I know I've created. So I like the look of that. That's pretty nifty and quite useful. The final thing on the agenda is the map cluster and market improvements. So there's been some improvements made to this, which isn't something I've tested out myself. You can take a look at that on the actual change log. It'll give you information about exactly what's going on there, improved accessibility and so on. So those are the key new additions and changes that we have inside this release candidate of BRICS Beta 2.0. We're getting closer to that final release. And as you can see now, this is more a case of the polish and the little tweaks being added on as opposed to big game changing changes to the overall editor. But I'm pleased to see what's being brought in. I especially like that quick command palette. That's pretty nifty. It's nice to see we've got those quick icons with keyboard shortcuts going on the left hand side. Yes, if you're an advanced Thema user, you're already been using this kind of thing anyway. So this is just a native function for anybody that doesn't use it. You now have the same kind of options. I really do appreciate the ability to organize and group and see your classes inside the editor in a much more logical grouped fashion. That's going to make working much, much quicker and much easier. But I'm going to pass things over to you now. What are your thoughts on these updates? Let me know in the comment section down below. And are you excited for the release of Bricks 2.0? For me, I absolutely am. While there's no massive game changing changes in it. There's a lot of nice quality of life enhancements, tweaks, and additional kinds of tools that I think are going to make working with Bricks much smoother than it already is. Anyway, drop your comments in the comment section down below. All applicable links are in the description. My name is Paul C. This is WP Tuts, and until next time, take care.